Hey everyone, welcome back to the final video of the normal all day raid guide with my resto druid. It is of course Gahoon, the final boss. There are a lot of mechanics to this fight. I've written everything out on the screen. If you want to pause, have a read through, absorb the rules of the game. Um, I will explain as we go. I think the most complicated bit is, or people find, is the orb running. People generally look for blocks, mages, warriors, monks, demon hunters because they can move, they've got certain movement abilities, they can move along the platform faster. So just want to take a bit of time to explain that as well. So if you organise the team before you start, if you want to set up three teams of two players, it'll be doing the orb running, okay? Now the first orb that spawns is going to be on the west, so as you start the fight it's, it's the left hand side. And uh, it's helpful as well if you have a warlock to set up a gate as well. So the first orb spawns on the west, second one will be on the east and they'll just alternate back and forth each time. The person who picks up the orb will need to be passing it to the teammate as you move along the platform towards the end where you will kind of like a basketball dunk I guess you need to dunk it at the end of the platform in the reorigination module okay so if you are the one that's holding the orb you will get 20% reduced movement speed every two seconds and you'll be rooted after 10 seconds so this is when you'll need to pass it to the other player he'll be further ahead hopefully at that point and then pass it back and forth towards the end um, a lot of players are able to solo it if they feel comfortable with it I myself as a healer I haven't done it myself there there isn't any footage of that in the video so I do apologize for that sorry there is no video footage to watch it's just a case of trying to explain it once the first team has deposited the orb they need to jump back down into the main area and then the next team will get ready for the next orb to spawn on the opposite side and then it'll just continue back and forth once two reorigination blasts have been triggered by successfully getting an orb into the reorigination module. It takes three orbs for each reorigination blast so that's six orbs in total so that's why you need three teams of two players they can just rotate in order to do the orbs and that's pretty much the explanation for that so if we just continue to the fight first thing will just be to kill the adds you'll have the cyclopean terror adds you need to interrupt the torment cast as much as possible that big ad the dark young it does have a spell that it casts called dark bargain now you want to get into the little circle around the ad as it casts dark bargain because it does give you a massive increase damage increase healing buff for 30 seconds i believe so you want to get that buff when it casts it make sure you only get one stack now it will cast that dark bargain quite a few times while it's alive so just only make sure you get one stack wait for your stack to drop off before you get another one otherwise you will get mind controlled and mind control will last until you're damaged for 50 percent of your health on heroic it doesn't come off it just you die you can't get rid of it you just die with it when you get the debuff which is the explosive corruption you want to run out to the edge of the room away from the players if you can and when it expires which is quite quick you will shoot off these little balls the virulent corruption balls come out of it as you can see they just come off where you're currently standing when it expires you want to dodge those make sure you don't get hit by them otherwise you will get a, a dot onto you causing damage Once you get the first reorigination blast, everyone needs to get into the centre of the room. Everyone stack up in the middle where you can see the big yellow beam shooting down. Stack in the middle, just make sure you're healing the group. Put down your efflorescence, do your wild growth. Depending on what other healers you've got in the group, maybe pop your tranquility. And then once that's finished, Gahoon himself will 
come out and you will fight him for this phase. Now you need to make sure that you're standing five yards apart really because there will be damage at some points. You will damage other players if you're not spread out a bit. So you need to keep running out when you get the explosive corruption debuff and dodge the balls that come off of it. It's not too bad in normal to be honest. It's more chaotic in heroic. Very chaotic balls everywhere. So make sure you spread 5-10 yards apart. Now when Blood Feast is cast you want to get to that player because it will remove stacks of putrid blood. Okay so if you if you don't go to the Blood Feast when it's being cast you'll keep your stacks of putrid blood and it does cause damage over time so you want to be making sure you get rid of that debuff every time that Blood Feast is being cast. Now there is an ad that spawns during this phase, Gibbering Horror. Now he casts Mind Numbing Chatter which will stop you from being able to cast spells for I can't remember how long, but 3 or 4 seconds maybe. But it is really annoying, I um, have been caught out a few times. Obviously as a healer you don't want to not be able to cast spells so just stop your casting for a few seconds till the ad has finished that cast and then just carry on as normal. And just make sure you're standing five yards apart after that blood feast is cast because you do have you can probably see the wave of corruption it damages any player within five yards of you and gives you another stack of putrid blood watch orb taunt the boss So again just go into the middle when the reorigination blast comes on, just wait for that to finish. What that is doing is damaging Gahoon as well so it will be taking a massive chunk of his health at this point. So you want to make sure that all your teams who are running the orbs are doing their job properly, dunking those orbs in the reorigination module to trigger the reorigination blasts. So your job is basically just to heal. I think sometimes a healer may get assigned depending how your groups are formed. So just be careful with this part where he does start casting collapse. The ground will start well, collapsing and it will cause a lot of damage to you if you get hit and it does knock you back so just just stop your DPS for the time being and ca concentrate on dodging and then once it finishes just go back to Gahoon it's fine and Gahoon he will cast the gaze of Gahoon so you need to turn around face away otherwise you will get feared and that is not good because you could obviously you won't be able to heal or you won't be able to DPS if that's your role you might get feared into the walls so just make sure you're paying attention facing away I think I just stayed facing the opposite way to be honest saves time or it's quite a quick cast as well so you get the DBM warning and it does go off pretty quick so I can just face the other way and stay facing the other way and it's not a problem but if you're DPS obviously you know you'll have to just turn back to face him to do your to do your damage and that is about it during this phase as well phase three there's no more orb dunking it's, it's just phase one and two so just you can see everyone's health is dropping rapidly so just concentrate on keeping the tanks healed and keeping the raid healed as much as you can You'll need to face away. Two, one. Taunt the boss. Two, one. And there he is, dead. 
finally dead. It's a lot harder on Heroic, so yes, you shall see. The next lot of videos will be Old Ear HC, and you can see how that is done when I upload those videos. Thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these videos, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye!